All right, base maps. Um, Esri has some decent base maps, stuff you can use in ArcMap or Catalog uh, to do your edits, verify that you've got your projections set right, and so forth. And their, their list of base maps is growing. Um, so they're starting to get stuff that's a little more creative, a little bit more closer to what Mapbox and some of the other online services uh, provide. Now, one of the problems that I find in base maps, using Esri base maps, is sometimes they're slow. Uh, whether or not their servers are down or that's being hammered by users and that you need an alternative. Um, the first thing I would do before deciding on an alternative is per perhaps go to Esri's uh, status page. Uh, you can look to see if all their services are operating uh, normally. Uh, very rarely uh, we have had an issue where we've noticed that there's been some problem with the base maps that's uh, on Esri's site. And therefore you know, like, all right, I do need to use something else. Now, one of the best alternatives to Esri's base maps that's out there to easily add to ArcMap is um, grabbing stuff from USGS and the National Map. They've got a bunch of REST endpoints. These are places that we can add to ArcMap or Arc Catalog and use in our own maps, just like we do Esri base maps. Uh, it's not too hard to do this. So uh, I've gone to, I can, you can easily Google this, uh, National Map, USGS, um, uh, web services and what I'm looking at is getting to the base maps and we are going to use uh, in this demonstration we're going to grab the imagery and I'm looking at this rest endpoint so it's this address this web address that I'm going to use right here so I'm going to grab that of course you can read more detail about this and I'm going to copy that uh, URL and then I'm going to go into our catalog and I'm going to add this as an ArcGIS server. So on Arc Catalog, if you haven't used web services over in your catalog tree, you're going to go down to GIS services or servers, click on add ArcGIS server, uh, and go up and run through this little wizard. We're going to just use this service, so we don't necessarily need any kind of um, password or username to access it. And uh, it's going to ask me for the service URL. And I'm going to paste that URL that I grabbed just a moment ago. Don't need to authenticate. I'm just going to hit finish. It's going to head out to USGS's servers, confirm that it's, it's a valid REST endpoint, uh, and then notice that I have a new uh, GI server that I have access to. If I look at this, all the, everything that I have available, I actually have multiple map services that are available um, from that, um, that server. And I'm going to look at the imagery only. So, uh, I'm going to go, um, let's see how I can add that to ArcMap and use it. Pull up ArcMap here. I've got something in Yellowstone. We're doing a uh, topology exercise on trails. <clears throat> and I've got Esri's world base map, world imagery base map. Let's say I was having problems connecting to that. So I'm going to use USGSs. So let's go to add data. Go down to my GIS servers. Open the national map, grab that imagery only. Now I'm connected to USGS's uh, servers and I can use their imagery uh, to verify my trails and my edits that I'm making to uh, the trails layer. So hopefully that helps you out.